Hey everyone, I just got back from a thrift store, a Salvation Army, and I got all these games today for a pretty good price. Um, okay, originally they were in the, both of these boxes and they were all mixed up and all the instructions, or some of them that had a matching game were taped to the game. And so I, I actually sat there for about half an hour on the sidewalk at the store outside uh, peeling the instructions off of the cartridges and then peeling the tape off of the uh, the paper so um, sorry if my hands are dirty but I just got back and there's some dirt in the bottom of this box I haven't really looked at every single game I just you know I just grabbed handfuls of things that had stuff taped to it and I peeled the tape off and I just put it back in this box and then this box is empty uh, if, if you see here's a picture of how I found them sorry it's vertical or whatever but, um, so they were all kind of, like, messy, and, and, um, the prices, these, some of these are prices are, like, crazy. Like, I, like, I don't have this game, and I looked up on eBay, and you could get this on eBay for, like, six or, or four dollars with free shipping, or, you know, four dollars for a couple dollars shipping, or, like, six dollars free shipping. And, um, and a lot of the other ones are expensive, too. Uh, I mean, a dollar is fine, I guess, but I think I already have this. But anyways, so... I'll tell you, I'll try to remember to tell you how much I paid at the end, but anyways. I'm going to go through all these and just show you which ones I got. Okay, S Space Invaders, and I'm going to put them in piles for myself of like which ones I have and which ones I don't. Okay, I have that. So let's see, I think I'll put the ones that I already have over here. No, wait, yeah. Over here, I have those. Let's see. Super Breakout. I don't think I have this. And you see he's charging $5. I don't think that's a $5 game. Alright, I'll put that over there. Kaboom. I think I have one of these, but... Originally it wasn't mine. I think my cousin gave it to me when like Super Nintendo, I mean not, not Super Nintendo, but Nintendo came out and she was tired of all her games. So I have like one or two copies of this. But I never used to play that when I was a kid. So, But I do have that. Okay, Asteroids I have already. Let's see, he put $5 on that. He said he looked up all the prices and priced them, but like some of these prices are just stupid. Okay, Batgammon. I don't have that. Pretty cool. Five dollars, and these are not the prices I paid. Okay, so Galaxian, I really wanted this, but ten dollars, it's not worth ten dollars, like in this condition or whatever, you know, with no box or... Uh, and I, I'm not sure which ones have instructions now because I didn't keep them with the game. I'll just look through those later. Okay, Telegames Tilt, Bonus Balls and Rollovers. I don't have Telegames, but the, these games. So that's new. This is a new pile, isn't it? Alright, Championship Soccer, I definitely do not have that, but $3. Sports games are always, like, cheapest, aren't they, usually? Um, Home Run, I don't have that. I don't think I have any sports games for the Atari. Uh, Berserk, I do believe I have that, but it's a really good game. Atlantis, I have this already. This is a really good game, too. I think you had to have, like, a special controller or something for this one. $10, let's see, I have that. Okay, Pitfall. I never had this when I was a kid, but this is another one I got. I think I got for my cousin, so I have one, maybe. One of these. And some sometimes I have, like, two of a game, like, my personal copy and then my cousin's copy. Uh, like, Dolphin. I have two or three Dolphins. Um, okay, Video Pinball. I don't think I had this, but I might have this for my cousin. I'll, I'm not sure. I don't... I'll put this over here, because... Can you see them? I guess it doesn't matter which pile, if you could see the piles or not. Okay, I do not have this. Hunt and score? That's new. I've never heard of that before. Okay, a bunch of these telegames. Okay, blackjack, stud poker, and poker solitaire. I don't have that. Okay, here's another one. Oh, they all have a number. Jet plane, auto racing, and the sli slalom skier. I don't think I have that. Let's see. Air sea battle. Uh, anti aircraft, torpedo, shooting gallery, Polaris, bomber. Players versus Bomber. I don't think I have that. Ice Hockey. I do not have that. Probably not. I don't know. Unless I found it somewhere cheap. At one time. But. Okay. Auto Racing. I don't have that. Fishing Derby. I don't think I have this. It, well, I might. I might have got this for my cousin. I'll put this over here, I think. Maybe. Let's see. Jackpot Games. Payoff Games. I do not have that. Dragster. I might gotten this from my cousin. Let's see. Star Master. I definitely have this. I used to play this when I was a kid. So this goes over here. That was a pretty good game, I think. 
Let's see. Combat, tank, tank, pong, invisible tank, biplane, jet fire. This is a super good game. Well, you know, as far as Atari games are concerned, uh, I have I have that. Definitely. I might have two copies of that combat. Okay, golf. I don't have that. Not that I know of. Tennis. I do not believe I have this. Unless I found it at a yard sale or something. River Raid. This is one of my all-time favorite games, especially for Atari. This is probably in my top five or higher. River Raid. I have like one or two. I have two or three copies of this, probably. I'm not sure. But I definitely have it. Jar's Revenge. I already have this. This is a pretty good game. Uh, it's kind of weird, but it's, it's different, but it's good, I guess. It's pretty good. And let's see. Video Olympics. I do not have any of these Olympic, Olympic games, I don't think. Let's see, what is this? Freeway. I do not have this. Five dollars. Okay, my piles are starting to get too high. They're going to fall over. Okay, this one's the stickers coming off. Laser Blast. Um, it kind of sounds familiar and the picture looks familiar, but I'm not sure. I don't remember the orange sticker. I'm going to put it in the pile of stuff that I already have, but I'm not sure. It looks different. It looks weird. It's like, I, mean, I, just, I don't remember being orange. Missile Cannon. I definitely have that. $10. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not worth $10. Because, like, this is super common. Okay, let's start a new pile. Okay, and let's see. Mega Mania. Space Nightmare. I've never even heard of this. $5. I've never heard of that. I mean, um, I definitely don't have that. Millipede. This is another one that I looked up. Uh, on eBay when I was there and it, it, I, I think this one was not worth ten dollars on eBay. It was like four or five or six dollars. Plus the sticker is a little bit messed up. Uh, I don't have that for a tie. Okay these are, there's gonna be an avalanche later in a video probably. So don't worry about it. It happens. Okay this is another one that I was gonna buy even for five dollars. I think on eBay it's like four or five or six dollars. Um. And some of them had shipping and some of them didn't, but this was a decent deal, and I've never heard of this or seen it. And it's a weird cartridge. So I was I was going to buy this even when I decided not to buy these, but then he, like, gave me a good price. Because uh, I actually told him, you know, like, I could get these cheaper on eBay. How about you just give me a decent price for all of them? Like, a, I didn't say, like, give me a realistic price, but, you know, I'm like, these are kind of expensive. I didn't even say that. I was just like, can I get it for cheaper? Than eBay. Uh, video chess. I do not have that. Um, let's see. Spider Fighter. Five dollars. Uh, I've never heard of that. I do not have it. Let's see. Decathlon. I don't think I've ever played this before. I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Let's see. Barnstorming. Uh, I might have this for my cousin, but I'm not sure. I definitely. Do not have it in my personal collection, but I'll, I'll put that over here. Well, mm, no, I think I might have it. I'm not sure. Pac-Man. I have two or three copies of this. And I think there are a couple different types of cartridges. Like, this is a... Uh, I don't know what system this is for. I mean, but they all, like, are compatible. But sometimes they look different. Oh, wait. This goes over here. Ooh, Trapper Command. Another one of my probably top five games, maybe. Um, yeah, I used to play this a lot. I'm surprised there's no E.T. in here. Yeah, there's no E.T. in this box. Okay, so Trapper Command, $3. That, I would pay $3 if I did not have this because it's so good. It's, this is worth $3 to me because it's really fun. Or, you know, for an Atari game. Telegames, basketball. I do not have that. Sports game. And the avalanche is going to happen in about one minute. Defender. That is some weird art. Um, okay, like I know what Defender is, but I don't think I have it. Or have ever played it for Atari. Um, so I'm going to put it in this pile. Even though I've played regular Defender before. Like, you know, in the arcade and like on PlayStation and Nintendo. But not the Atari. I've never... Okay, so Stampede. I think I got this for my cousin. So I'll put this over here. And there is a sticker. Hunt and Score. Now I don't... That game wasn't in this box, was it? I'll, just, I'll put this over here. Okay, now... I'm going to look it through... Uh oh, I'm going to look through the papers. Uh-oh. Uh, I'll just, I'll just pick those later. Okay, so, okay, let's see what papers I got, or instructions. Okay, let's move the, move the camera a little bit. All 
All right. Okay, missile command. Um, these must be just like advertisements that come with with the. Oh yeah, I remember. Okay, so one one of the reasons why I, why I wanted this box of stuff was because when I was a kid, I had all these instruction booklets for my games, and you know what I did? I would go through, and I would find a cool screenshot, and I cut it out with scissors. And I, I would like, I don't know what I did with screenshots, but if you look at my original collection from, you know, when I was a kid of games and uh, instructions, all the instruction booklets are missing the screenshots. There's like holes in all the pages, or wherever, like wherever there was a cool screenshot, there's like a hole, a rectangular hole now. I, I don't know why I did that, but I did. But now I have more instructions, instructions, and some of these, I think he was just trying to sell the instructions without the games. Well, this one had a game, but, uh, see, like, wait, this is, oh, these are two different games. Um, I think he would, he would put prices on some of these, uh, even if there wasn't a game, because he thought you would pay a dollar for the instructions, which I can, I can see someone doing that if they really need the instructions for a certain game. But I just wanted a bunch of them, you know, for to to fix fix, fix up my collection in case some of mine are messed up. So I'm not gonna pay like a dollar for instructions I don't have. Berserk. These are these are pretty nice condition. Really nice pack name of glue. Well, I mean, it's a tiny bit messed up, but it's good. I mean, I'm sure it's better than mine because this this one ha doesn't have any holes in it. Tennis Star Master. So, like I said before, these were, a lot of these were tapes, oh, see so here, here's these, I forgot the tape on here. I had to peel all these tape off, um, did I show you the tape? Here's all the, the tape that I peeled off outside, here's another tape, I that just added to the pile. Alright, so, let's see, I got these, and Atlantis, that's good for mine, Chopper Command, ooh, that'll go good with my game. Oh, the, I remember these, these big thick ones. They, these are definitely cut all the pictures out of. Like, you look at mine, there's just holes all the way down here. Um, Dollar Canyon Bomber. Oh, that this this game wasn't in this pile, but this is a really good game. This is maybe top five, definitely top ten. Canyon Bomber is really, really, really fun. Probably top five. That's a really enjoyable game, and there's lots of different versions that you could play. Like, uh... Like you can change the rules and the, the graphics kind of. Video Olympics, Breakouts, Poker Plus, Star Master, Basketball, another one of these. These are just generic. Barnstorming. Oh, and look at this. Gal Gallagher or Gal Galaga. Uh, Demons of Death for the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. I don't know why that's in there. Um, I didn't see any NES games in the store today. One time I went there and they had a, a couple boxes of, like, I think they were NES games and some other games and I bought them all, but I, I never really went through them. Like, maybe I should make a video of those. Okay, what is this? iMagic? iMagic? Um, I've never seen one like this before. This is really neat. Uh, I have some of those games, like, oh, like, Cosmic Arc, that was a pretty cool game. I have that. Uh, Star Voyager, I think I have. Yeah, these, this is a nice company for, they made cool games. Let's see, these are generic. Generic. Um, let's see, some more tape. Championship Soccer. Kaboom. And sometimes you put, okay, like, it was about half and half, like, 50%. If these were taped to the back of a thing, and that's not too bad because it doesn't mess up the thing. But about half of them were taped to the front, and you had to peel off and hope that it didn't mess up the sticker label. Okay, Stampede, Laser Blast, Ice Hockey, oh, generic one, Asteroids. These are these are like this is like someone's collection from their childhood that they just just got dumped off at the. Salvation Army. Video chess. Hunt and score. It's a corner of something. Um, golf. And Defender. This is a th this is like the thickest book, I think. Maybe. I don't know why. Okay, and another generic one. Alright, so oh, and the price I paid 
was $35. So I, I wanted to do a quick count and see if there's 35 of these or more. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 37, about 47 unless I miscounted, so between 45 and 47 games for $35, no tax. So that was a really great deal. And a lot of these I really wanted for my collection. Some of these, like, I might have to hook up my Atari and play because I've always wanted to try them. And it's always cool to have them. Like, this one, I don't know if I've ever even played this in the arcade. Maybe once. Uh, I love Centipede. And that's, like, the sequel to Centipede. Alright, so thanks for watching. Um, if you have, if any of these are, like, some of your favorites, tell me about it. Or, like, if you have any suggestions for other good games, tell me, like, what's a good Atari game. I have more. Like, this... I have my own games, you know, like, um, uh, Miss Pac-Man and, you know, just all the regular Frogger g games like that I have. But, um, like, if you can think of anything cool, just, like, put it in the comments and I'll read it. And see you later. Bye.